With Google Gemini Edit, we can turn our notes and readings into infographics. We also ask AI to help us add case examples for better understanding. They even help us download and save images to our Obsidian Canvas. This definitely changed my reading habit forever. Well, if you felt information overloaded, trust me, you are not alone. Every time I thought about catching up, my brain would just freeze and procrastinate. Deleting everything feels like a waste, but keeping it creates pressure. I searched YouTube on how to read faster. There are numerous tips, but I can hardly find tips about how to read faster on note apps and browsers. I feel a bit trapped. There I wonder, can AI help us read faster? Well, I did some tests and tries, and the result is quite amazing. Hi, Tony here. I build AI agents. In this video, let me share you how I use Gemini and Obsidian to boost my reading speed. First, I will show you the exact setup I use. Next, I will explain why this system works. If you just want to check my use cases, feel free to jump to the last part. Before we jump into the solution, let's just spend a few minutes at looking into the concept of fast reading. Speed reading isn't just about racing through words. Think yourself as a detective. First, you need to be fast at finding the clues. That's quickly locating information you need. But just as importantly, you need to be fast at solving the case, which is comprehending those clues you found. One without another is incomplete, which means no one can read and learn it for you. You have to do it by your own. Therefore, I guess the only solution left is to increase our information processing bandwidth. Imagine your brain has two channels to process information. One verbal channel for words, and another one is visual channel for images. When you read a standard text linearly on Obsidian, you're only using one verbal channel in your brain. But when you transform it into a graphic content, say a map, a diagram, a visual story, you open up a second channel. By doubling our processing channel, it allows us to understand and comprehend at a much faster rate. But there is a bug. Creating graphic content from original text is time consuming. But in 2025, we have top performance AI models that has potential to read between lines and create visual notes for us. We can now transform dense linear text into insightful graphic content within one minute. Let me share you my setting so you can try it out yourself. This is an Obsidian canvas file created by AI. It has knots, groups, workflows, and even example code. If you open the file with coding tools like Visual Studio, you will find that this canvas file are simple semi-structured data. It contains not IDs, um, text content, and their specific whiteboard location. It makes it possible to be automatically created by AIs like Gemini or ChatGPT. However, currently, direct creating such canvas files are not supported on AI chatbot like ChatGPT, Cloud, or Gemini. We need a terminal AI agent. You can imagine it as a Jarvis living in your computer. It can directly read and edit your local file, of course, after your approval. In my case, I use Gemini CLI for my daily uses. I've also prepared a special Gemini command to create Obsidian Canvas file. Regarding how to install Gemini CLI, please check my last video. Of course, you can download my Gemini command setting for free from my community. Just use the link in my video description below. OK, now you get the package. Open your Obsidian mode and upload the zip file. Then you can set it up using any free IDEs like VS Code. In our example, I use Visual Studio to open my Obsidian mode. You can find .obsidian folder here. It is the system setting of your Obsidian. Then just open the Gemini for Canvas folder. You can find .gemini folder. It will be the prop setting for the Gemini agent. What you need to do is simply move the .gemini folder to your main fold path. Then the setting is completed. And you will also find a markdown file and a .env file. The markdown file is a prop example. You can check it with your Obsidian. Uh, while the .env example file is an environment variable to save your Gemini API, this is optional. I will explain how to set it up in my community content or you may check the Gemini document. I will paste the link down below. Now everything is ready. We can open Gemini CLI to verify it. You can go to the application hub and find terminal. Then we will need to navigate to the root directory of your vote. You can find the file path by right-clicking on any file in your vote and select Get Info. Then copy the file path. In the terminal, type CD and paste your directory 
Once you are in the correct folder, simply type Gemini to initiate your AI agent. If this is your first time using Gemini CLI, it will ask for authentication. You can simply log in with a Google account. OK, I'm in. Then we can simply type slash canvas to see if canvas generate command will appear. If it did, all you need to do is to use your arrow key to select it and paste your file name after the command. Then you will have your canvas within one minute. OK, let's check some of my use cases. OK, let's start Gemini by typing Gemini in the terminal. As an example here, I have a note about how to write good behavior-driven document for communicating with my clients. It covers some key principles, explanations, and simple examples, and formatting styles. It's around uh, 1,200 words. To quickly review it, we can ask Gemini. We can ask Gemini to visualize it uh, to assist our review. The process is simple. Just copy and paste the file name. Gemini will read the file plan structure and save it as a new canvas. Once it's ready, it will ask permission to create a canvas file. So we will have total control over your AI agent. After you grant permission, the BDD best practice canvas is ready. Let's check the result. The canvas visualizes the key principles, um, such as providing sufficient context, writing from an external perspective, and using a declarative style. The key concept I would like to review here is three amigo rule. Um, I can definitely click the not to read the full paragraph. Uh, since my note did not include a case example, I can ask Gemini to edit directly to the canvas. A good example always helps with our understanding. Since Gemini is embedded with Google Search, it will not only help you visualize content to assist your understanding, but also work as a personal research assistant to further add information you need to the canvas automatically. Currently, as far as I know, no Obsidian plugins could do this. OK, after confirming the change, the AI add case example in the canvas. It is a short conversation between product manager, developer, and a QA tester. All right, let's check the second example. The previous example was a relatively simple uh, document. What about a much longer notes, say 10,000 words, written in the different language and contains attachment? This is actually where Gemini's large context processing power truly shines. Let's test it out. OK, um, it may take around one minute. All right, once the permission is granted, the TDD for Python data project.canvas is created. OK, this is a beautiful visual graph. It highlights some um, key knots with color as well, and the attachment is included. We can find some case, uh, we can find some code examples, and a Wikipedia link as well. We can directly open it up. Uh, this is unbelievable. Like, uh, it is like created only within one minute. OK, so how about readings from blog posts and newsletters? In this case, I have a long technical article from Menace AI about how to build effective AI agents. Um, it also includes several graphs. Um, reading it line by line would be time consuming. If you use Obsidian Web Clipper, you can download the entire blog post into Obsidian. You can try the same canvas command to process this online report. Um, it will take around 40 seconds. Let's speed up. Once created, we have the engineering with AI agent.canvas. Let's open it up. OK, it seems we have met some issue here. Uh, it asks us to download the image, uh, not like the other example I have here. This is automatically generated by AI. Um, this is a web page. So it looks like we need to download them and save it first. I don't want to download them one by one, so I can ask Gemini Assistant to do it for me. Um, just allow the command. Just give its permission. It will do all the dirty works to download images, rename it, save it, 
and even updating the canvas to ensure the attachments can be properly displayed on Obsidian Canvas. OK, everything is down. So we just reopen the canvas file. It's right there. You can see that those attachments are all properly named. I guess if you do the work, it will cost you maybe 10 to or 15 minutes. I think this completely changed my habit of online reading. All right, this is my use cases. Don't forget to check my community for free prompt setting. If you find this video helpful, subscribe my channel so you won't miss the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.